right, guys, we got a big one for you today. This is the Aeon M2 Plus CE Edition. And today we're gonna show you what it's like to take it out of the box. So, today, let's do this. Let's do it. Okay. It's a good idea to keep all your packaging in case something goes wrong, you sell the machine, you want to send it in for repairs, anything like that, keep your packaging. Okay, so first things, you're going to keep it in the upright position and put the short end facing up from the bottom. Scare them right in there like that. Okay, now dig up that side. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and set this down right here. Is it up? Oh, this is a bill plate. Carbon bill plate. There you go. Yeah, bill sheets. So then you take two screws and we're gonna screw this into the actual platform, like so. So we're gonna have to turn the nut clockwise. Clockwise. Orange nut. Clockwise is gonna be this way. Yeah. And then that'll raise up the little foot and it's on wheels now. Very end, these little panels also Velcro on and create that last little slope. All right, so next we're gonna take off this pump. The reason being is that they attach it for shipping. We're gonna take it off during the printing avoid extra vibrations through the frame. That's pretty slick. I like how it's Come on up. there. Yeah. But easy to remove. Okay, so the first things inside the box that you take out before you unbox the machine is going to be this roll of natural ABS and a box of coolant. The first coolant that you'll be putting in the machine, along with a safety data sheet for the coolant and some test prints from your machine, uh, as well as a few extra sheets of build plate material. Now, this is going to be polycarbonate or PEI or both, and uh, just allows you to do some extra printing. Okay, next we've got the box on the second skid with the operator toolkit, preventative maintenance kit, and hot end spares kit. What do we got? We got a sonic tension meter, which is awesome. When you're tuning your belts and making sure everything's at the right tensions, this is critical. They go to a really, really high level of making sure the hardware is set up correctly so that you get that repeatability and consistency with your prints. We've also got a grease gun for greasing the rails and the bearings and everything else like that. We've got silicone lubricating grease, and this is gonna be for, again, all the rails and the screws is Crytox, which is a high temperature lubricant for the rails. And oh yeah, it looks like it comes with a, a brush, some extra pulleys, some extra nozzle cleaning brushes. Cool, okay, so your preventative maintenance kit is actually for the six month to one year replacement parts, things that just replace it at a year so it doesn't go bad at year two. Uh, and that is very, very cool. The hot end spares kit, which comes with, ah, yes, a bunch of hot ends with different size nozzles. We got 0 0.6, 0 0.4, 0 0.25, and I believe there's a 0.8 in here as well. More info on the website for exactly what comes in all of these. More spare coolant, looks like they got six of them in here and that's two replacements. Once a year you replace the coolant completely, but once a month you actually check the level of coolant to make sure that it's up there. Big note, if it runs low on coolant and you're out of coolant and you're running the machine, it gets hot and something breaks, your warranty is voided. So make sure you check that coolant. Uh, it's one of those simple, basic monthly maintenance things. Just to take a peek around back and look at it. And we've got the operator toolkit here. We've got a uh, part scraper, a nice brush for nozzles, another nice cleaning brush. 
So if we've got a brush for applying a nail polymer adhesive on the fill plate, manual pumps and tweezers, a couple spanner wrenches. Very nice. And of course under here, nice pair of wire cutters, nice pair of ball and hex wrenches. A good towel, a Kevlar towel. Oh, that's awesome, a Kevlar towel. Probably not bulletproof, but, and this is a flexible brush that breaks into pieces, All right? And then we've got some high temperature welding gloves. This is essential for taking out the build plates. Definitely don't want to grab it while it's super hot. You get two sets of those. And a funnel for filling the water cooling. So in this one, we've got the materials handling package. All right, this is gonna be some sort of build plate. So this looks like the Carbon Fiber Peak build plate. This is really, really cool. Uh, super high temperature, won't break or chip or anything like that. And you get really good adhesion of the high temperature filaments. Looks like we've got some Ultim sheets in here and some uh, what's probably polycarbonate as well, along with the Carbon Fiber Peak. We'll do a lot more and show that off in a future video. This is a molecular sieve desiccant. It's a special type of desiccant that actually works at high temperatures, so this is crucial for the dry boxes. Oh, mystery box number one is actually the dry box. So we'll install that on the back of the machine here shortly. And it looks like a second dry box right there, and then the calibration and training materials package. All right, and that comes with some ABS Prime and more ABS Prime and hips. So we've got ABS Prime in black and white and hips, which is used as a support material on the second extruder, if you want to. Very good, we've got all those. All right, so that's all the stuff that came with the machine. Now let's get into turning on the machine. All right, so next we're gonna install the dry boxes on the back. As you can see, they start out with these uh, hangers, which are actually really cool because you can just take the Velcro off like this and you can put your filament on, hang it back there. If you're not using hygroscopic filaments, that won't matter, but we're a performance 3D printing company, so we do Peak and Ultima and all these, and they absorb moisture super fast. So we're gonna install the dry boxes real quick. First thing we're gonna do, Jay's doing here, is removing these side brackets. And then, you're gonna get your dry box out of the box. And out of the bag. And then inside, you will find, oh yeah, this thing is sealed. This is sweet. Okay. A bracket. This bracket is gonna replace these brackets on the machine and the dry box literally hangs in the back. Pretty sweet. First things first, we're gonna install that bracket. Okay, so now this is a little counterintuitive, but you're gonna remove the PTFE from the encoders here, and then we're actually gonna run the line of PTFE that came in the box from this side to the opposite side. What that does, it's actually gonna give the filament a path that is, has less sharp turns to make it flow easier. So it looks a little crazy, but it's for a good reason. Uh, from there, this just goes down into that top of that drop box and you plug up the opposite side and we're just going to do the same on the other side. Okay, so now that the dry boxes are installed, we're going to turn the machine around, take everything out, and we're going to level the actual machine. So, let's twist her around. Alright, let's turn her around. To open the door when the machine doesn't have any power, and you don't want to plug it in at this state, there's actually a little slot right in here. I'm going to put my hex wrench inside. Boom. Opens up. You just go like that, and that's going to unlatch the door. Right, so this thing looks like an absolute beast. This door here with this new smaller window looks like it belongs on a vault. And then, of course, inside we've got all these straps and everything holding the heads in place. As you can see, we got the single gantry and that's what gives us the IDEX capabilities. 
and the vacuum bed, of course, which gives you different printing surface materials really, really easily and hot swapping, great feature. So we're gonna come in here, we're gonna unstrap everything, take off the packaging, and then get this, uh, get this thing powered up. Moment of truth, guys, let's turn this puppy on. Plugged in? Plugged in. All right, I'm gonna power it on. Let's go. All right, flip it, Jay. Why oh, you click? Oh yeah, I can already see those extremely bright lights on the inside lighting up. Little things like the black on black logos, the new darker color on the actual machine. This is like a some sort of CNC to aluminum. Nice and cold. Probably acts as a heat sink for the screen, honestly. The top, all these extra vents, and there's a lot going on in here. Very, very good. All right, state inactive, check e stop. State idle. Right. Unlock the door. Ooh. That opens it right up. Oh, yeah. Over the next coming weeks, guys, we're going to have a lot of videos going over the operation, the maintenance, the functionality, and the cool prints you can do with this machine, whether you're an aerospace company oil and gas, energy and power, all of you guys using high performance plastic from peak to open the PPSU. This is a fantastic machine with an unmatched world-class support from not only ourselves, but Aeon 3D up in Canada. So if you got any more questions or anything like that, leave it down in the comments below or shoot us an email or give us a call, contactvisionmatter.com and 833-774-6863. We're here to answer your questions. We love it. Thanks for watching. Have a positive rest of your day. I'll see you on the next video.